Hey, this is a Jim at FreeChartVideos.com. This is a bonus video. All of this down here still applies. Don't use this as your investment advice. Do what's right for you. Use your head, not my lines. I'm not a licensed professional, just a guy that draws lines on charts. And interestingly enough, we're going to look at gold. Yeah, I'm using the uh, GLD uh, Gold Trust uh, ETF as my uh, proxy here. And just a few things I want to point out. The first of which is uh, I look at this chart and, and I'm immediately faced with the challenge of establishing a channel. And I have decided to not start with this panic bottom uh, back in late uh, 09, excuse me, late 08. And the reason is panic bottoms often fall outside of, of rhyme or reason. And uh, for that reason, if you try to start with this channel, you will end up with something that, uh, that typically is so steep it cannot be maintained. In other words, if we started here and we go, well, we could see, well, there's our channel right there. But, the, you know, if that were the case, gold would be 8,000 today if that channel was going to work. And obviously, that is not a, a, a logical uh, way of thinking. If we go to this right here, well, then we end up with a channel where we got two touches, the bottom, and then this one right here. Eh, what about that? Well, maybe that sort of works, but but you know the fact is, it just that doesn't look quite right either because we don't have that many that many touches. So what have I done? I've gone with a little bit more of a global approach. And I have drawn my channel line with a touch here, 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 almost here, definitely here, and today, here. Now, does that man mean the channel is definitely going to work and gold is going to bounce from this point? Um, I, you know, I don't know. The channel is going to break eventually, but here's my thinking. We got another thing going for it, too. If we draw over this peak and this peak and this peak, we end up with right where that uh, long candle today met that lower trend line. That, to me, is another reason. Now, what am I saying? I I'm not saying you just buy here and then uh, you know go away for five years and come back. What I'm saying is this today was a good opportunity based upon the thesis of this channel and uh, the back test of this line today was a good opportunity to go long gold with a tight stop just in case the thesis is wrong okay so uh, that's what I did um, and I actually I went into the uh, the double gold ETF and uh, got it within three pennies of the low and I'm pretty happy with that and uh, if we look at a tighter frame on this too, I'll tell you what, let's look at a, let's look at a 15 minute chart. Um, I was looking at this kind of a pattern develop as we started to dive down. It looked like this was kind of ending up being kind of a constricting pattern roughly. Uh, I don't want to be too uh, firm on that, but uh, I have seen these uh, these kinds of wedgy looking patterns that often will run prices down to a lower support line. So let's see what happens with gold tomorrow. Uh, if my thesis is right, it may start off a little weak and then rally. So uh, uh, or it may rally off the bat. So I just wanted to share this with you. And uh, of course, don't Oops, what's that? There we go. Make sure you come by freechartvideos.com. Take care.